Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Mr. T-Man and we are the GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs, but this is a fantasy GM, so we drafted all our players in or a couple videos ago. And in the last video we were just simulating and we fell off the wagon a bit because we were first in our division and we slid all the way to eighth, so not good. Um, but because of that we've decided to trade away our veterans and I'll quickly show you I changed the trading block so that our veterans are listed so we got Verbata, Fisher, and Yager uh, up there right now and then our surplus is basically any forward or defenseman that's over 27 and wants our anyone any position uh, that are basically young players so doesn't matter if they're forward, defenseman, or goalie. Uh, as long as they're young, I'll I'll take them, and I'll 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 take uh, first and seconds. I, I'll, I'll actually take all picks as well. So I'll turn that on quickly. Yep, there we go. And now let's make some trades. Let's see who wants uh, Mike Fisher. I think Dallas came at us before with. A trade offer so maybe we could trade him to Dallas uh, let's see centers uh, Mike Fisher there we go was it the Dallas Stars uh, maybe okay so draft picks can we get a second for Mike Fisher that'd be pretty good there we go. I th I doubt anybody will think Dallas came out on the short end of the stick of this with this trade, so it's a done deal. So there we go. Uh, go to roster moves. Uh, edit lines, but edit lines. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter actually because we're probably gonna be keep doing this when we're trading players. Okay, so Jack Eichel's an 89 overall player already, so that's fantastic. Uh, but you know what? Best lines. There we go. Now, next player, who are we shipping off? Uh, maybe Verbata, is he a right winger? Um, there we go. Let's see who wants him. Montreal wants him, we'll give it to, we'll give it to them. Uh, as long as they give us a pick. Uh, they've already traded with their second this year. Let's see if we could snag that second next year. Proposed trade, okay. There we go, we'll see you out on the ice. There we go. Assistant coach best roster. Um so there we go, we got a couple seconds. Uh any other players we could trade right now? Maybe Yarmir Yager or uh Jerome McGinla. Come on, anyone want Jerome? Ottawa does, Pittsburgh does. Um Carolina wants him, so we could trade him there. Um, how about we trade him for Anthony Duclair? Nope, that's too high of a trade value. Uh, left wingers, who they who do they have? Tomashov. Um, nope. Uh, let's just get a draft pick from them as well, I guess. That's too high of a draft pick. How about a third? Third sounds good enough for Jerome McGinla. Okay. There we go. Assistant coach, best roster. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Let's trade away Yarmir Yager. Who wants him? Calgary wants him. Um, Pittsburgh wants him, Ottawa, the Rangers, they have the cap space, um, who is the, what's their worst deal? Uh, let's take on Marcus Foligno, I guess we're continuing our trend of taking everyone from uh, the Buffalo Sabres and putting them on her roster. Uh, Toronto would be under the minimum salary cap, so we can't do that trade just yet. We're going to have to sign free agents. 
uh, to a deal. So let's sign Shane Doan, offer contract. One year, $10 million. Let's see if he accepts that. Um, come on, it's gonna take some time. All right, so finally got to 10 million. We're gonna give him a one year deal. I'll get to you back in a few, a few days. So hopefully, hopefully that helps us with our salary. All right, there we go. Shane Doan, offer accepted. I, I was extremely happy to accept your offer. I like the idea that I'm likely to be a go-to man for your team. So there we go. Uh, now we could try trade away uh, Yarmir Yager because we have the cap space or we've hit the cap floor, um, which basically means that we've hit the minimum amount of salary that we're supposed to have, I guess, um, if that makes any sense. Sorry if it doesn't. I'm not great at explaining things, but uh, here we go. Yarmir Yager, you're up. I believe the Rangers wanted him and they had the cap space to take him as well so we'll give him to the Rangers he's going back to New York um, and who do we want let's take Marcus Johansson wait wasn't Mar no Marcus Foligno sorry um, so that way we get some salary back and how about a draft pick first no nah, that's too much how about we have to sweeten up the deal a bit um nashville's second that one go through um and a third so yager a second and a third for marcus felino and a first can we do that nope okay so you know what let's just take their second and go Trade rejected, so apparently we can't do that either. Uh, let's give a fourth. Will that go through? Trade accepted. We believe this transaction will contribute or contribute to our success here in New York. So we are accepting your trade offer. So there we go. Assistant coach, best rosters. Let's quickly check out what our lines are looking like now. Uh, now that we've traded away a bunch of our veterans and. You know what, let's put up at a training block, um, yeah. Let's put a couple more players up there just to see if we get any offers for them. Um, age, let's put Brad Stewart. Um, who else should we, shall we put up there? Uh, Brian Campbell, Joel Ward, Joel Ward I mean. Um, yeah, he's got some trade value, so let's see if we could get any deals for these guys, if we can't, um, alright, sorry about that cut, but my Elgato froze on me again, sorry about that, but, uh, basically what I did before it froze was that I put Br Brad Stewart, I believe that's his name, yeah, Brad Stewart, Brian Campbell, and Joel Ward on the trading block, so let's see if any teams come to us with offers, if not, we'll most likely still trade them away by the trade deadline um, because we want to get those picks and prospects. Can't have enough picks and prospects and we're 16, 18, and 2. Uh, same record as the Washington Capitals. Kind of a uh, coincidence, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. I will quickly simulate to the 1st of March and I will end the video there. Okay, uh, Brian Campbell, let's see, edit trade. For a third and a fourth, can we get a second for from Carolina? Um, come on, can we get a second for him? Nope, that's too much trade value. How about next year's second? Trade rejected. You know what? I'll take the third and fourth. How about two thirds? Um, third. And a third. There we go. Is that enough? Come on, why is this freezing on me again? There we go. Trade accepted. I had my reservations when you counter proposal first arrived. When your counter proposal first arrived on my desk, but I'm happy to report I can still go along with this deal on behalf of Carolina. I accept your changes and the deal is done. So there we go. Uh, let's just best roster this for now. 
Six nothing loss. So there we go. We we lose to the Washington Capitals. Um, at home, you know what? We're just gonna do assistant coach replaces player for the rest of the season. Um, we actually win a game, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and shootout loss. I, you know what? I'm just gonna simulate to the first of March, and I will see you there. Or maybe not, because we just got a proposal. Uh, edit trade. Like them, can we get two thirds out of them? Like Caroline, I mean. Can we get two thirds? Next year's third as well. There we go. Trade rejected. Okay, I, I could see why they got it rejected. Trade away for a fourth, our fourth. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got the trade done. Okay, assistant coach best roster. We're just gonna tear this team right down to its core and uh, just leave it like that until hopefully we win the draft lottery. All right, edit scouting assignment. He's been to the US, how about the WHL? He's been to the WHL as well. Uh, QMJHL, send you there for a month. All right, folks, so we have simulated to March 1st, the trade deadline. We actually won a couple of games in the last stretch or two. Um, let's see where that puts us because I'm kind of interested to see if we're in a playoff spot. Okay, so we're not in a playoff spot, but we're three points back, which is kind of interesting. So we just trade away a lot of our veterans and we somehow ended up in a better position. I did not see that coming, but you know what? We're here. Uh, you tell me what you guys think I should do. Do you think I should buy? Do you think I should continue to sell? Um, because it is trade deadline, uh, I will read all your comments in the comment section because I do that for all my videos. So if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment section down below. I think I'll end the video here, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, uh, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Played you fast and read you in